Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB sale recommendations for the spring 2022 sale. I love when the VIB sale comes around. I love filming my recommendation videos for you guys. It's like a giant video full of all of my favorite products from Sephora. Now I have filmed quite a few of these videos, so I will leave a playlist for those down below in the description box if you wanna see past videos for more recommendations. Typically these videos are filled to the brim with products and I tried not to be excessive, but that's really hard. So um, I'm gonna share with you all of my favorite makeup products and I have some favorite brushes that I want to share in today's video. So if you wanna see what my current Sephora recommendations are for makeup and makeup brushes, then just keep watching. My absolute favorite foundation at the moment and for the last month or so has been the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I'm actually gonna pick up another one of these during the sale, I need my summer color so I'm gonna pick up a darker shade but this is my normal color it's in the shade L4 Deville I absolutely love this foundation it is absolutely my holy grail I love the way that it looks on my skin and I love the way that it wears typically with foundations I will absolutely love them for the first few hours and then it's so so as it goes on throughout the day but this actually looks better the longer that you wear it it is a medium to full buildable coverage foundation. Absolutely love everything about it. From application to wear time, durability, longevity, everything. Absolute favorite foundation. And then my absolute favorite concealer is the Dior Forever Skin Concealer. I have two shades in this. Um, this is the shade, the shade Zero N. This is the shade that I wear the most. I do have one in for when I'm tan. I actually need to pick up another one of these during the sale my line is like to here. So I am blowing through this concealer because it's the only one I want to wear. It is a medium to full buildable coverage concealer. That is like my favorite when it comes to foundations and concealers. I love a good solid medium coverage that I can build up to full if I need to. Um, but this concealer is amazing. It is really nice and works well with fine lines. It doesn't crease. It is just oh, such a nice, like hydrating concealer. I just absolutely love it. So number one concealer. Since we are getting into spring and summer seasons, I wanted to mention a tinted moisturizer and my favorite sunscreen. So my favorite sunscreen is the Super Goop Glow Screen. I have used the Unseen or like the original Super Goop facial sunscreen, but the Glow is absolutely my favorite. It really reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. That's what it's called, right? I think that's what it's called. It is gorgeous. You can wear it on its own. It gives your your skin just like a little bit of evenness and a beautiful hydrated glow. The consistency is just so nice. It's like a, it's not silicone-y at all. It's like a lotion, like a, a serum -y. It's just absolutely stunning. I love it. It performs great under makeup as well, so you could use it as a primer. And then for tinted moisturizer, I love the NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is like a good color for me really anytime because it's so sheer it works whether i'm kind of my normal color to getting tan it's a medium one saint moritz so if you like more of a full coverage tinted moisturizer this isn't going to be for you this is a light light to medium coverage tinted moisturizer but it looks beautiful on the skin i can wear this very minimal makeup or i can wear this as a full face of makeup and it looks great both ways so you know surprisingly both of my you know foundation recommendations are both by nars i didn't mean for it to be that way but i do love this tinted moisturizer it does have spf 30 in it and then the super goop sunscreen is spf 40. let's move on to face products powder products cheek products that sort of thing a straight up face palette where you can get finishing powder highlight blush and bronzer I feel like there's no better palette than the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe, and these were, you know, they're holiday palettes, but I checked the website and they're still available. I freaking love this. This goes with me anytime I go anywhere overnight. It is just the best Hourglass face palette I've ever had. It's 
just gorgeous. I love both blushes. I didn't think I was going to enjoy this as a finishing powder because I did purchase it as a single when it first came out and I was not a fan. I don't know if like the marbling in this just works better for me. There's not as much of the dark color. Um, the highlight, the bronzer, I've got the bronzer on today. Um, just freaking love this palette. If you're looking for an all-in-one face palette, you definitely got to go for this one. Another face palette that I'm absolutely obsessed with is this Dior Backstage face palette. This is in the shade One Universal, I think. Yeah, One Universal. I have these two mixed together as my highlight today, and I have this on as my blush topper. Freaking love this. These also are amazing as eyeshadows. This palette is super universal, like the name says. It can be used for so many different things. It is absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite products ever. So highly recommend getting this. And this is not a new product. It's been out for a while. The Patrick Ta bronzer and blush duos are phenomenal. I'm wearing both of these today. This is the She's Sculpted Bronzer Duo. Absolutely love this. I have both the cream and the powders on today. Love this so much. I feel like since we're getting into spring and summer, that's when like cream products start to get really popular and people use them more. Fantastic bronzer, cream and powder duo, as well as this blush. This is one of his newer shades. It is She's Blushing. This is the blush that I'm wearing today. And then I have the pink from the Dior topped on top. Stunning color. If you like um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk line, you will absolutely love this. I actually like this more than the Pillow Talk blush. Um, I don't have the cream on today, I just have the powder on today, but any of his colors are phenom. I have the She's So LA blush as well, which is the bronzier tan blush duo. Amazing formula. I may pick up another shade during the Sephora VIB sale. I just haven't decided which one yet. I would like more of a pinkier color because I have this pretty mauve. I've got the bronzy and I kind of want like a pinkier blush duo, but um, you cannot go wrong with his powder and cream duos. They're awesome. Let's move on to eyeshadows. I know you guys are gonna know I'm gonna recommend my cream shadows. I have three cream shadows to recommend. Two are from Bobbi Brown. These are the Longwear Caviar Shadow Sticks. I've got Nude Beach and I've got Taupe. These are my favorite everyday colors. They are super creamy, so they're very easy to work with. They don't set right away, so you can really get in there with a brush and blend these out. Absolutely amazing, the best shadow stick formula in my opinion. Absolutely love these. Again, Nude Beach and Taupe. And then a pot shadow is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Pillow Talk. Pinky Tones for eyeshadow is having a huge moment right now and I am obsessed. I wear the pink shade from the Dior palette on my lids a lot and it's absolutely beautiful. I love pinky tones on my eyes. I feel like it really brings out the green, uh, but the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize pots are beautiful. And if you're wanting to get on that pinky trend, the pillow talk shade is, you got to go with that one. It's so good. Speaking of pink eyeshadows, I have found my new summer palette. I got this from Ulta actually a few weeks ago when it released because it wasn't anywhere else. And I checked the Sephora site and it's finally at Sephora. It's the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing today. And you guys, I have not been into an eyeshadow palette this much in a hot minute. You guys know if you've been watching my channel, I've been loving my cream shadows. So for me to fall in love with a powder eyeshadow palette, this is a big deal. It's the new NARS Summer Unrated. Is that what it's called? Yes, the Summer Unrated palette. It is stunning. The formula is incredible. I absolutely love the shades in here. You've got all of your neutral shades, and then you've got your pinky and bronzy poppers. Ugh, absolutely gorgeous. Let me get it to focus. So I've got this on in my crease. This as my lid base, these two in my outer corner and in my crease. I laid this down on my lid, this brow bone in the inner corner, and I popped this in the center. This palette is absolutely stunning. If you enjoy neutrals and pink tones on your eyes, new favorite and go-to spring and summer palette. I'm going to be wearing this all spring and summer long. I have not 
really been that into eyeshadow palettes lately and typically that is like one of my number one things but this has like reignited my love for eyeshadows freaking love this palette it is so good my mascara favorite for a hot minute has been the patrick cha mascara it is amazing it gives you length it gives you volume you don't have to use a million coats to get a really thick lash phenom mascara it's got that natural that thick natural bristle wand which is my favorite kind of wand so good if you're looking for a new mascara this is fabulous and it does not transfer at all on me my favorite setting spray which i am repurchasing during the sale because i finished it up today is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray the best setting spray on the planet um, i had moved from my big bottle to my little bottle um, i keep this little bottle for when my big bottle gets like halfway but i am repurchasing that during the sale now i did check online and it's currently sold out online but it's available in store so i am definitely going to be going in store to get all my goodies tomorrow when the sale starts as always i have a lot of lip products to share my favorite lip liners for a hot minute have been the huda beauty lip liners my favorite shades are i forgot to grab my pinky beige but i love the pinky beige and then i've got sandy beige and honey beige all the beiges this is such a good formula they have the best colors long lasting goes on super smooth automatic roll up pencil you don't have to sharpen <sighs> such good lip liners i absolutely love the shades my lipstick recommendations okay so for lipsticks i don't do a lot of bold colors i like a light nude sometimes medium nude light pink medium pink i have a huda beauty lipstick in the shade buttercup I actually mixed both of my lipsticks together today. Buttercup is a phenomenal color and I absolutely love her cream formula. And then the Anastasia lipstick in the shade Tease, which is a light kind of pink color. I have both of these mixed together. Absolutely gorgeous. They look beautiful with the Huda Beauty lip liner shades that I mentioned. Just such good lip colors and those are the ones that I wear. These are the ones that I wear the absolute most i have another huda lip product and it's one of her liquid lipsticks in the shade wifey love this this is more of like a like light pinky mauve shade so beautiful i really like this color a lot and i feel like it's a color that would look good on anybody i have some patrick ta glosses this is his newer plumping gloss this is in the shade pouty this is so freaking nice. It's so thick and hydrating and just silky slippery. And then if you like a good sparkly gloss, these are the, I don't know what these ones are called. Oh, these are the Major Glow Lip Shine. So if you like a good sparkly gloss, these are fantastic. I have the shades She's an Influencer, which is more like the nudie beige. And then this beautiful kind of like holographic pink is Is She Younger Than Me? This one is my favorite out of the two. Both are beautiful, but this one is such a fun like pop of pink and they have a ton of sparkle. These Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips are so good. They are just something that you can throw in your bag, put on super easy, where every day they feel so good on the lips. I actually bought these during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so I got them half price. Um, I have the shade Grapefruit, which is my favorite. And then the shade Rose, which is more nudie. This is more peachy. Um, I absolutely love these. They just came out with the Juicy Plumping Mar Maracuja Lippies. And I have the shade White Peach in my Sephora cart to purchase during the sale. But I love these. These are so good. These are the perfect combination of like a lip balm and a lip gloss. So good. You have to try them. And then lastly, a lip balm that I love is this one by Summer Fridays. It is in the shade, I always forget, and then I can never find the shade, Vanilla Beige. Love this. They also have a clear, and then they've got like a darker color. I don't know if it's still available. It was limited edition, but the Summer Fridays lip balms are glossy and feel so good, and I love this color, Vanilla Beige. Now I want to mention my brush recommendations. I feel like makeup brushes can be pretty pricey and it's not really fun sometimes to buy makeup brushes. So when you can get a discount, that's the best time to buy them. So two of my favorites that I have used for literally years 
are by Hourglass. Now, one thing about me, I love dual-ended brushes. You get double for the price of one. They are travel friendly, just super easy and convenient. These from Hourglass, I use every single day and have for forever. This is the powder veil brush. I use this side as my, you know, all over setting powder. And this little side I use for blush and bronzer. This is the ambient edit, ambient edit brush. These work, per this works perfect for the face palette. This side for highlighter and this side for blush or bronzer. I also really like this for contouring because it's super precise. These brushes are phenomenal and buying them during the VIB sale is the perfect time because they are kind of pricey, but they are so worth it. Two of my absolute holy grail brushes. I can't do my makeup without these. Some more dual ended brushes that I like are by Makeup by Mario. This one is the F2. This side I like to use for bronzer and then the smaller side for blush. You could also use this to contour, but it's super fluffy and not dense. I like a denser brush for contouring. And then this is really good with the Dior face palette or for highlighter. So this is a great highlighting brush. It's super small so you can get super precise when you highlight. And then this side you can use for cream blush if you wanted to, powder blush. I like to use this for like blush topper. If you like a larger highlighting brush, this works good for that as well. This is my newest face brush and it is the Glowish by Huda Beauty All Over Bronze Brush. This is a synthetic brush. It's pretty dense as well. I used this with my cream bronzer today. So good. So good for cream bronzer. I used this with the Patrick Ta. I have not used this with my Chanel, but I'm going to. Also want to try it with the Nude Sticks uh, cream bronzer. So good. It blended so well. It didn't pick up my foundation. And I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And it's a super tricky foundation for me personally to apply cream bronzer on top of because the foundation, when it sets, it's like not very blendable once it sets. But this didn't like move around my foundation. It didn't make it patchy or anything. So this brush for cream bronzer contour is so good. So if you're looking for a new brush for that, that's a little bit bigger and fluffier. Um, this is a really nice one. It's got longer bristles. It's dense and kind of stiff, but soft, if that makes any sense. And it's um, synthetic, so it, it works really good for creams. Those are my Sephora sale recommendations for spring 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed them. As always, they will be listed and linked down below for easy shopping. If you want to see another video with my hair and skincare recommendations, leave a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you and I will see you guys again very soon. I am going to do a haul. So whenever I get all of my goodies, I will film that. That'll be up next week sometime. So you guys have a good weekend if I don't see you before that and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,